Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Tessie. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, depending on where you are watching from. A worldwide vehicle creator, Ali Hujalani, designed Nigerian first electronic car as in the picture. Alihu is a revolutionary designer who is behind General Motors, Chevrolet Volt, the battery-powered electronic car. He has been in Nigeria for about three years as Director General of the Nigerian Automotive Design and Development Council. Like Tesla, the US-based electronic car manufacturer, after a few years of rollout of the electronic car, is valued more than six first biggest car companies in the world joined together. The Sokoto Bond Nigeria is a raw good and if given proper support can employ millions of youths in handful of years. Alright guys and uh, that is it for you all. The truth of the matter is that we have a lot of talented people in Nigeria but they lack government empowerment. But maybe because he's from the north they may try to look into his case to try to help him but the truth of the matter is that it is good to find such a man in Nigeria and he is not the only Nigerian person that has done something great as this but my question is why does the so-called leaders we have in Nigeria overlook such great people why is it that such people don't go far with their talent look at um uh, the Abba if you go to Ari Abba today it's supposed to be the China of our time today now there is nothing you are looking for that you cannot get people that can produce it for you in Abba. But our people rush to China to import things. They rush to China to buy their most of those things. Most of those things they go to China to buy is something that if you really want to produce it in Abba, you will get better quality and cheaper rate. But because we don't value our own we don't empower our own we don't support our own you see them being neglected just look at our economy today it's crashing down it's not as if we don't have what it takes to bring it up but whatever good someone is doing in nigeria to bring development does not go far because of the kind of people we have in power this thing did not start today so many nigerian youth they are talented to manufacture so many things just like the white but due to the bad government that we have, they are not noticed. Just imagine if this should be in a foreign country. This young man and so many of them like that would have been top notch. As they are discovered, they are taken serious and they will be there manufacturing different types of cars. And the billionaires we have in Nigeria, those who goes outside the country to import cars, to buy, they will be patronizing and even foreigners will be patronizing us. And... That is, before you know, Nigeria will become a good place for everyone to live. But these people, they don't think, they don't reason. I think if they even think at all, a time will come where they will begin to think, imagine all these things that we go outside to buy, we go outside, we enjoy good life, we go outside, we buy our cars, anything we want to go outside the country to buy them. These things are being put together by a human being like us. Why not try to do it in a way that we can also be producing these things so that others will be coming to also patronize us. To Nigerian leaders, they don't think like this. They only think how they can destroy the citizens. They only think of how they can go after their critics. They only think of how they can destroy the country economy. But they, they don't go out. All those things they go out, they see, they don't come and implement it in Nigeria. Just imagine that this young man and every other talented youth in Nigeria are empowered. It will not only benefit them and their family members, but it will provide jobs for others. It will empower others. It will provide opportunities for others. It will provide food for many to an extent. You understand? But unfortunately for us, when such opportunity comes in Nigeria, they kick it off and uh, hide the person's talent. They only the open doors for bad things. And once you can handle guns and other weapons, they will pick you and equip you for mass destruction. This is the only thing we have. We can we are getting from the Nigerian leaders. Before you know it now, this young man will start looking for a better life outside the country. And foreigners, the foreigners will just come and buy him off because this is what they are looking for. But... We don't celebrate our own in Nigeria. And that is it for you all. I'm going to leave you all to share your thoughts with me on the comment section. I've come to the end of this video. And with that, I'll say thank you so much for watching. And please, 
don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you all in my next video remain blessed until i come your way next time bye bye bye